Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to Beauty News. This is the 30th of August edition. We're mm -hmm. going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates of things we've talked about in the past but have popped up in the last week or so. Little bit of housekeeping. First off the bat, new sponsor! <laughs> Welcome to our newest sponsor, Fab Fit Fun. Fab Fit Fun is a women's seasonal lifestyle subscription box filled with full-size beauty, wellness, fitness, lifestyle and home products. Each box is customized to your personal interests and shipped to your door. The 2019 full box is on sale now. It retails for $49.99 but always has a value of over $200. You can use the code BEAUTY for $10 off your first box at fabfitfun.com. Our box is on the way and we're super excited to see what's inside. We've seen some sneak peeks and I'm excited for possibly receiving a travel yoga mat because I recently started ballet. And I saw that there might be a cheese board and uh, I really love cheese. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> These boxes sell out really fast, so sign up today and don't forget to use the code BEAUTY for $10 off your first box at fabfitfun.com. For everyone interested, they ship to the US, Canada and the UK. If you receive a box, don't forget to tag us on Instagram at Beauty News Official so we can see what you got. Yes. Next up, uh, we did delete one of the Beauty News groups. On Facebook. Dun, dun, dun. My God. <laughs> they tended to cause a bigger backlash than I was expecting, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. it is what it is. So yeah. we had two Facebook groups. Uh, they were always listed in the description box. One was a beauty news group where mm -hmm. you can discuss new release stuff. Still around. Still around. Yeah. Still alive and kicking. Yeah. And then one that we're in the process of deleting, which we found out is a very big task. I know. Thanks, um, Facebook. <laughs> thanks, Facebook, for making that easy for us. Um, it was the Not Beauty News group, and that was everything beauty-related that wasn't news. Yeah. Um, and we mainly created that group two and a half years ago on request of people that were in the beauty news group that wanted to talk about, wanted to have a place to talk about other things. Yeah. And it started with great intentions. It was a great little community, but as it sort of grew, it got out of hand yeah. and there's a, got a lot a of negativity bit, and bickering. Yeah. Hard to manage and constantly feeling like, you know, trying to mother people. And it's yeah. just, it just wasn't really a healthy place. And no. I don't think either of us really wanted to, have that be a part of our lives anymore yeah it's just a bit yeah I, like we're I'm, not really into the drama and the online bickering and no it, it couldn't i don't know it felt like a lot of people couldn't really just talk about beauty without it turning into other things or being yeah. attacked over stuff so we decided that it was it was just time to go it had run its course i suppose um yeah but it was it was interesting though because when i did announce when we made the decision which we've been thinking about it for like a while over a year <laughs> it's been um, a while. when i finally made the decision which was sort of like nail in the coffin because there was one particular post that was talking about glitter uh, yeah, and somehow just... progressed to white girl problems amazon mm. fires trump racism <laughs> yeah just... and it just got really out of hand and i thought what the fuck is this group? So yeah, yeah. I said to Haley, I think it's about time. She said, yes. Yeah, it is so about time. We, yeah, so that's why it's gone. But yeah. what we, when we did announce it, there was a lot of really lovely comments from people saying they're yeah. going to miss the group. It was a great group. And we really appreciated that. Um, it just seemed like from our perspective, it, it only <laughs> took a few bad eggs to ruin it for a lot of other people, which is really sad. But sometimes you've just got to, You've, you've got to draw the line and you've got to decide when enough is enough. And yeah. I think it got to the point where enough was enough. And we, we, yeah, we didn't want to add more to the toxic nah, environment and we just felt like it can go. It's, yeah. it's not, um, people can live without it. They can indeed. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. but we did want to say to the people that sort of feel like they don't have a place now to go and, and communicate with the rest of the community, uh, we still have beauty news. Yeah. And even though that group is a lot stricter in what you can post about, um, we do encourage people to discuss the products in the comments. Yeah. So, for example, if you really love the new Norvina palette and you want to show swatches or looks you, created, look you created, you can yeah. always or share a mini those. Review yeah, or mini something. review or like dupes or whatever yeah. it might be. You, you can, can actually share those in the threads. Yeah. We just don't want people to create new posts specifically for 
face of the day or yeah. hauls. But you can yeah. definitely discuss things in the thread. Yeah. So um, we do want to encourage that because that's a great place and that's a much safer group where yeah. things don't get out of hand as much and yeah. we're a lot more sort of proud to be associated with that group because yeah. um, we do want more discussion and more interaction. But, um, you know, it's, it, it's a pretty safe group. And that's yeah. what we were worried about, that it, things get out of hand. And throughout the two, last two and a half years, we've had so much stuff where people have tried to scam people, people tried to sell oh, things. Oh, God, people, so bad. <laughs> people tried to run competitions secretly, like oh. a lot of stuff going on that was yeah. just... It, it was unnecessary. It was really hard to, like, protect the other members. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, sometimes you got to you got to accept when you can't control things and you can't keep people safe and... Sometimes you just got to let things go. Yeah. So we let it go. All right. It is beauty news time. Yes. Um, let's start with the updates. Norvina. Yeah. Apparently it's legit. <laughs> I know. So last week we actually were debating before we filmed, do we talk about this? Yeah. Because we did see some photos crop up we're like this actually doesn't look like it's Anastasia yeah. on the hills this looks like yeah. it's like a it could have been like a mock-up or yeah. something yeah but it's real so it's legit it is legit so we've got a 25 pan pressed pigment palette yeah um and it is named Norvina collection volume one yeah she did which, say that there's more coming yeah which uh insinuates there's more coming um, but essentially, it's a it's a purple, gold, blue, red, yellow. <laughs> it's 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 a palette. It's a yeah. big one. <laughs> it's a big palette. Um, I think this is an interesting direction from or for Anastasia Beverly Hills. This really shows that Norvina is starting to take the creative reins yeah. from her mum. Yeah. Um, and do something a little bit different because this doesn't look like Anastasia Beverly no, Hills. No, it doesn't. If you put this in front of me, I would have thought that it's like. A collaboration between Morphe and Natasha Denona. Yeah. So yeah, this yeah. is kind of strange. A lot of people are digging it. A lot of people think this is really repetitive. I think this is very repetitive yeah. um, when it comes to past palettes from Anastasia Beverly yeah. Hills and also just a lot of palettes that we've seen recently. Yeah. Um, but I think this is an interesting direction anyway. Yeah. So this is launching. It's already launched by the time you're watching this. What sort of annoys me about this is that it's really big and sort of overwhelmingly big. Yeah. If you just look at the top three rows. It's Norvina. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Norvina palette has a, it has like a topper purple and a cool tone gray yeah. purple. If you just look at the top row, if you like purples and yeah. warm purples, that's actually a beautiful palette. If you look it at the is, top yeah. three rows. The bottom two just jumble it. Yeah, I and like she did a an Instagram story, I believe, and yeah. she was saying how you know she wanted to add other colors to it so you could make it More all versatile. sorts of things, and that's totally fair. Like I I get that, but I don't know. I'm just not really inspired. I also feel like the top three rows are. Are laid out in a way that it's quite appealing, but then mm. the bottom two rows look a bit jumbled and yeah. it actually gets a bit confusing. I, I get that. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it becomes a bit analysis paralysis. But yeah. if you're a big fan of the formula and you like these colours, yeah. there we go. I think this is actually retailing. It's fairly affordable. It's not yeah. was it sixty US dollars? Yeah, I think? I think it was. Yeah, sixty US dollars, which is only like for something that's what is it, twenty five pans? Yep. And the pans are quite large. Mm. That's pretty good value for Anastasia Beverly Hills because their pans are usually small. Yeah. Um, but this is launching alongside the coral set, which is available online. Yeah. Thirty-five dollars for liquid lipsticks in variety of coral shades. Mm. Still think this looks <laughs> same same. The they're, beautiful yeah. colors. I they love are, this like, coral. I I would not dispute that. I think they're really beautiful, but I don't think I need four. Yeah, it's a really weird. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a weird. It's a lot choice. of the same same. I just hope that this is the kind of colour that doesn't, since it ends up looking quite vibrant on camera, it like tricks the camera into looking at it differently. Yeah. So hopefully yeah, yeah, in yeah. person you can see the nuances, yeah. but it just seems that, like a strange release. That could very well be the case. Coral yeah. is a bit of a funny colour like that. Often it doesn't translate true to itself on camera. So there's a really good chance that these are quite different. Yeah. And you can see some differences in this swatch picture from trend mood but they do also look quite similar. they do 
oh, I'm so ready for my body. Like, I can't even say how ready for my body I am. The Besame Sleeping Beauty Collection, it launched. And major, major props to Besame because they were shipping internationally. Yep. Oh, yes, we bought the things. Oh, we bought the things. Oh, honey, we bought the things. We spent a lot of money and we bought did, the things. We did, we did. I will say, though, I got a little bit of a pet peeve from that order. Just a little yes, one. Yes, you do. And I think it's a fair one to mention. I think it's fair. So when we went on the Besame website, everything was in Australian dollars, which was great. So they've got their, like, geolocations on. They know where you're coming from. They know what to charge you. But then when I went to check out with PayPal, they charged us in US dollars. And yep. because the dollar is woeful at the moment um we were actually charged a, a significantly more. larger amount than what it would have come to if we were just charged in australian dollars so that was a bit of a mm-mm. yeah but they do have a free shipping cap so i've got to give them props for that yeah um and the collection is beautiful tell us what's in it all right so we have the 1959 eyeshadow palette oh. which is a beautiful book and there's a photo of the uh like besame founder um looking at the original book i believe so i don't i didn't i don't understand what this sleeping beauty book is no but it's the original sleeping beauty book mm. and so this palette is done so like true to yep the inspiration it's ridiculous so this is designed like the original, the original book, book which is what, gigantic which is massive <laughs> um and then inside it's got um and this is very similar to the snow white one so if you have the snow white one you'll understand it's got Thanks the character yes. i love ours <laughs> i know you cried when we got that <laughs> I, did. Um, I still have it as like a display yeah because it's beautiful um but it's got like images of um they're like cell. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's got an image of the characters. Yeah. So you've got Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, and Maleficent. And then it's got like a cell layover yeah. over the top, which shows you what shades are used in the cartoon. Yeah. So in the imagery. So it tells you exactly what, like the lips is 89396, which is the color of the ink used. Mm. And then they replicate those colors in the palette yep. so a lot of people were looking at this and going so boring it's all matte it's bland it's not punchy enough it's not colorful <laughs> enough which That's i because it's true yeah it, it's true to the like the form yeah of, so if this yeah. was trying to be a trendy eyeshadow palette it, it was look, very very yeah. boring yeah. but when we say that maleficent has eight nine three nine six color in her lips there's the color in an eyeshadow yeah. so it's exactly true to the inspiration so if you're a big fan, this is a really, really fun collection. So that's the first thing, the eyeshadow palette. There's three lipsticks. There's Sleeping Beauty Pink. There's Make It Blue, Make It Pink, which is a blue lipstick that changes pink. Um, there's Maleficent, which is more of a berry pink. Then we have um, the Briar Rose Blush Palette, which the packaging is gorgeous. Mm. The Aurora's Translucent Powder, very pretty. The Royal Vanity Mirror, I could not... <laughs> leave without that yeah if anyone else watches tarty and is jealous every time you see her snow white mirror that she uses <laughs> yes so that mirror had to be mine so i mainly ordered this collection well not the whole collection a yeah. couple of things from the collection because yeah. i wanted that mirror we've got the locket cream rouge little um blush thing and then you can get them in packs yeah so the complete collection or the mirror and the eyeshadow palette bundle which is what we picked yeah. up so um, very cute. And also a lipstick. And Sleeping also a lipstick. Beauty lipsticks. Yes. Beautiful. So it's all out now and it does ship most countries. Yes. All right. We have an update on the Shantakai Fall Collection. This is Africa's Vanishing Species. So essentially this is a collection of eyeshadows that are being released to support the conservation of um, wildlife essentially so we have giraffe which is a burnished brown and it supports the giraffe conservation then we have elephant which is a shimmering taupe gray and it supports space for giants I like that that's, name. Cute. that's cute we have cheetah which is a warm champagne and it supports CCF cheetah there's what is a 
pangolin. An anteater. Scaly yeah. anteater. Oh, it's cute. good. Look at it rolled up in a ball. Oh, I know. How cute. I like oh, it. I want to buy that just Let's to save it. Let's get one. Uh, then we have lion, which is a golden copper, and it supports lion guardians and the rhinor rhinorosis. Mm. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is a sophisticated olive and mm. it supports Sheldrick Trust. These are available now from Shantakai website. They're 52 US dollars each and a portion of the proceeds go to the trusts that are relevant to the animal that they're I supporting. like all the colors. I like I all the beautiful. animals. I like all the causes. I like how Shantakai do this. Yeah. I think it's great. All right. Next thing is a brand new brand. Uh, we touched on this last week. So um, Millie Bobby Brown, mm -hmm. who is known as Eleven from Stranger Things, mm -hmm. she's created her own brand called Florence by Mills. Um, and this is sort of like skincare makeup for tweens yeah i guess so this is available now at florencebymills.com and everything retails from ten dollars to 34 us dollars so it's not the cheapest brand mm. um but the products are there's a lip oil there's a peel off mask zero chill face mist yep love a face mist yeah and ten dollars it's not too bad yeah there's a face wash an eye balm a concealer cream blush mm. uh the expensive thing is the eye pads yeah. the gel pads which is 30 34 dollars for the tub and they look like whales they do they kind of <laughs> look cute that's fair uh there's a moisturizer a face scrub a skin tint uh glow wipe treatment pads brow gel micellar cleansing gel so it's sort of like a mix between skincare and basic makeup yeah from fourth ray beauty we have a glisten up vitamin c mist so this is supposed to instantly enhance your skin with a hydrated glow. It's infused with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, camu camu, and white teas to support a radiant complexion. It also has a microfine shimmer that offers a subtle glow. Yeah. Um, so you mist it over your face and it's supposed to offer an instant glow plus skincare benefits. It's retailing for 12 US dollars. It's available now at Fourth Ray Beauty. I don't mind the idea of the shimmer mm. um, as long as it's not like the MAC ones where there's so much shimmer that it looks dotty on your face. Yeah. I think a nice even small amount can be very nice. Yeah. Um, so this is interesting. Yeah. I don't mind it. I feel like I like the idea of those shimmer face sprays. Like mm -hmm. when you see them in the bottle and you shake them up, they're so beautiful. And it's like, gosh, I could look like a glowy goddess. Mm -hmm. And then you put it on your face and you're like, oh. Looks like a mess. Yeah. I it can be really hard. Yeah. I don't look like a glowy goddess. I look like I need to take a shower. That's true. <laughs> and I just realized that was new news. Whoops. Oh, we're buggery. off with the theories. So let's continue on to updates <laughs> and then we'll go back to new news. All right. We've seen the two new collections from Lethal Cosmetics. Mm. So we did talk about there sort of being a bluey green collection. Um, and I don't know. Did we, I don't know if you talked about that there was a second one or if we we're waiting until we I saw think it. I did mention maybe. that it was a we thing. We were talking about it yeah. between ourselves and we're uh, like, yeah. maybe we'll <laughs> wait. But we've seen the two collections. There's a Skyward collection, mm. which is six shades of blues and greens. So we've got Celestial, Altitude, Yonder, Mirage, Eden, and Surge. And then there's a Landfall collection. I thought you said Landfill. Oh, no. I'm like, that's nice colors for Landfill. Uh, landfall collection. So these are more purple toned. And there's Pilgrim, Crossroads, Descent, Midway, Terminus, and Trespass. I do like the names that they They're cool, they aren't they? Yeah. yeah. I think they're pretty good with their names. And their color selections, too. Yeah. So that is available now on their website. So uh, they're single eyeshadows that you can sort of create your own palettes and they're just expanding on that, which is cool. Excellent. I've got to get one of those lethal palettes. Oh, I want to get one too. We have to do it. We have to jump right in and give it a go. Yeah. Um, this is sort of an update, yeah. but also potentially something new, but we're not going to talk about it for long because no. we have no information other than Jeffree Star and Morphe are going to be doing a round three. Yes, um, and we have a little bit more information if you look at the image. Yeah, well, so, a, 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 what's, what are those things? Yeah, so pretty much this is a little bit annoying, and I, I, I don't like this when brands do this at all, where um, they sort of stagger mm. the releases in the same collection. They're like, here's oh. an eyeshadow palette and spray and brushes and sponges. 
And now three weeks later, here's Here some lip there. products or something else. So there's little tube products that you see in the side. Mm. It possibly looks like a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss. Yeah. Um, and then possibly, once again, a liquid eyeshadow yeah. or a sparkly lip gloss. I'm not too sure. But there's definitely two products there. There's two there products. They've got different on... style tubes. Yeah, yeah. D- different packaging. So, yeah. So, yeah, round three is coming. Oh, I could yeah. give zero fucks. I don't care. Okay, editing cat here, and I thought I'd give you an update on this Morphe Jeffree Star collection because it has been revealed, and to be fair, we prefer not to have to talk about this next week. So um, what they say is Jeffree Star Cosmetics Iconic Matte Liquid Lippy meets Morphe's High Shine Glosses in two jaw-dropping sets and an iron face brush set. So these are launching on the 3rd of September. And the first set is the Iconic Bold five-piece mini lip collection, $25. US It has two Velua liquid lipsticks in Unicorn, Blood and Red Rum, as well as two lip glosses in Berry Blast and Iconic and a lip topper in Living For It. The second pack is also $25 US and it's the Iconic Nudes. So it's got the Velua liquid lipsticks in Mannequin and also Leo, the lip glosses in Star Crown and First Impressions, and the lip topper in Syrup. Then there's a seven piece brush set with a bag for $49 US. So it just seems like existing Morphe and Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip products just put in minis in different packaging and sold in bundles. All right, so Too Faced. We have the gingerbread bronzer and bronzed, bronzed and kissed. There we go. That's a collection. Isn't it out now? No, it's no. coming out in September. Okay. Um, so Jared showed this. So we can see a little bit more information. We knew it was limited edition. We mm. knew it was gingerbread themed. We knew it had a makeup bag like a little gingerbread man. We knew it had a bronzer, which is a full-size gingerbread tan bronzer. And it's got a new full-size peach kiss lipstick in gingerbread man, which mm. is gingerbread scented, even though it's got peaches on the thing so peaches and gingerbread peach gingerbread there's a thing so we knew that that was a thing coming um but he did show that it's coming next month yeah um and he also showed that this is new but i'm going to talk about here because i can't be fucked let's do Um, that so he also showed that the hsn so home shopping network exclusive pack this year is going to be um this pumpkin spice pack they did one similar last year and i think they do it most years because they probably contractually obligated to do so. But in the pack, there is what looks like a lip gloss, yep. a mascara, a brush, and a pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette. It'd be HSN exclusive. HSN? Is it? Yes. Yeah. HSN exclusive, and it's available sometime in September. Um, let's just do more. Two yeah, we've got a lot of, of it. Let's do it all um, now. Jared also showed uh, that your skin's next superstar is coming and uh, it is a night cream yeah so they're adding to their skincare range uh we also saw hot buttered rum this looks like a mini palette from upcoming holiday collection i want to drink hot buttered rum yeah i've tried it once it was very buttery and alcoholic oh see i like the idea of buttery you know what it makes me think of when we're at universal and we had the oh that was delicious the um the Harry Potter, yeah, the, the was, butter beer. Oh my good God in heaven. Hot butter rum doesn't taste <laughs> that That needs good. to be something that is on tap. I agree. Everywhere. I agree. Mm. Uh, we've also seen some other Christmas palettes. It looks like yeah. a gingerbread house palette. Um, I don't know. There's a few things going on here. There's a little Jared. It's a bit <laughs> creepy. Um, but I do like that you sort of pull apart these palettes and there's different yeah, elements to it. I know. It. I I'm... think it's kind of novel and cute, but also it's very oh, childish. And yeah. they do this every year. I'm such a dickhead for this sort of shit. Like, I know. I buy I... it and I never use it. <laughs> I know. So I'm not going to, like, rule myself out from buying it. And I will say the hot buttered rum palette, I actually like it. Yeah, it's not a bad little Still travel better. palette. Like, but it looks very similar to, like... Um, some coloured rain yeah, palettes and stuff. Yeah, I can that do really this. Got. Like, yeah. I don't... I just... I get so suck it in. Yeah, it's a fun time of the oh, year. I'm the worst. Yeah. I make no promises that I'll be sane this year. Fair. Uh, we've also got a little, like, uh, snowman yeah. three-piece palette. So, in its head, it looks like I've got a, a bronzer and highlighter. In its middle half, 
it's got a more, middle third, it's got <laughs> blushes, and then in its big bum portion, it's got eyeshadows. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also see a sparkly lip gloss set. Mm. So um, instead of the liquid, the melted matte liquid lipstick set they brought out last year, yeah, seems like they're doing a similar thing, but with lip glosses. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be as successful. I'm not going to buy it. I don't need it. Stop I don't it. need more lip glosses. <laughs> but if they brought out more of the liquid lipstick ones, I'd totally get them. So yeah. that's a few sort of not sneak peeks, but reveals of uh, Too Faced holiday. Holiday, yeah. All right, new stuff. We're going to start with BH Cosmetics. This is an expansion on their Take Me Two series. So this is the Take Me Two Ibiza palette. So they had Take Me Two Brazil, mm-hmm. and I feel like they had another one, possibly, maybe. Um, but this is Ibiza. a different, different it, version. It's different. So it's thirty-five uh, pans, and it's got pressed pigments, um, face. Products, all different colors. It's. I do it's quite like how it's laid out, though. Not, I don't love the colors too much. There's a lot yeah. of pinks in there. Yeah, but I do like how they sort of have columns, like yeah. columns in different and they've sort of stories. kept the family stories. Yeah, well, yeah. they did like in the last half of the palette. The yeah. first half is just like pinks and pinks, browns. Pinks and browns. Anyway, this is available now at BH Cosmetics. Uh, it's retailing for twenty US dollars. So if you love it, you can get it. From Burberry, we have the new Matte Glow Liquid Foundation and Matte Glow Compact Foundation. So these are available now from the Burberry website. The liquid foundation comes in 30 shades. It's retailing for 52 US dollars. And they're calling it the new generation of foundation that perfects the complexion with a luminous matte finish all day long. They're calling it an innovative second skin formula. Blends seamlessly onto the skin for an even complexion, delivering an undetectable high coverage for a flawless yet natural finish. Then we have the Matte Glow Compact. This is in six shades and it's 60 US dollars. Um, again, it's the new generation. Get excited. Um, and it's meant to offer a luminous matte finish all day long. Luminous and matte. Mm, there you I go. just don't know if that's even a thing. It, is it? It's like <laughs> saying... it's. Undetectable like, high coverage for a natural result, but it's high coverage, natural, matte, luminous. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it offers everything and it's perfecting and you look I matte wonder, yet radiant yet natural yet high coverage. Yeah. I don't know. It's strange. I wonder if it'll do my dishes. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Next thing is ColourPop. Um, I actually... We thought that the color capsule palettes were going to take a bit of a break. Yeah. I almost felt like they rounded out their collection. They brought out the pink and the two pinks. Two pinks. Red, purple, blue. Orange, yellow. Orange, yellow, green. And I thought, okay, maybe they, they that was what it was in their business plan. And then they realized how popular they were and they were going to maybe take a break for a couple of months and then, and then bring out a new it, collection. Which is cool. That's fine. But that wasn't the case because we've got a peach one. (laughs) So this is the Baby Got Peach Palette. Mm. So it's already launched and it is, they say, we are ready for some pastels and we're kicking it off with a big juicy one. So that to me and to a lot of people in the comments and someone replied and they gave a winky face being like pastels, like is this going to be the first of the pastel range? Sounds like there's probably going to be more pastels yeah. coming. So this might be the second wave. Like you had the primary colors. Then we're going to have the pastels. Then we're going to have the darks. Then we're going to have the neons. <laughs> then we're going to have the jewel tone. Then we're going to have, you know, I think this is where. Until it, it's we're so happen. sick of eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. And they've expanded on the range so much that we literally can't even stand the side of yes. them anymore. Potentially. It's so sad. in this collection, we've got the Baby Got Peach Palette, $12. Peach Please Lip Tint Duo, $12. You Want a Peach of Me Super Shock Set, $15. Bellini BB Lip Bundle, $12. Fresh and Peachy Blush, which is a coral peach blush, $8. Frisky Business Blush, which is a light peach pink, $8. Um, And the Perk It Up, no, Perk Up Blush, in a neutral nude, $8. They're also sort of re-promoting their brown liner and their brown mascara mm. in this set as well. So there's that. But um, one thing that I thought was really interesting is uh, makeup just for fun. 
uh, swatch this palette alongside the Sweet Talk palette. Mm. So if you have the Sweet Talk palette, it looks very similar. They do look really similar, don't they? Yeah, so mm. I feel like it's getting to a point that now that they are making these capsule palettes, they're sort of doubling up on what they've mm. previously released. I do really like that they're adding sort of different elements to this though. Like they've got the Bellini BB lip bundle. Was that yeah, what it's called? Yeah. So there's a lippy balm and also a scrub. Mm. Um, and also they've got pressed powder blushes. I would have yeah. loved to have seen pressed powder blushes in the orange collection. Mm. In because, the red collection. Uh, yeah, because I really love those tones of blushes. Yeah. But instead they brought out the sort of sticks. They re-promoted the sticks. Yeah. Um, so I do like that this is expanding. I actually... I'm going to put out a prediction. Mm. I think they're going to expand on the food-related things. Yeah. Like, they had the strawberry, they had the watermelon, they've now got the peach. People are predicting yeah. pumpkin for mm. holidays. I reckon there's going to be maybe Pizza. chocolate. There's going to be banana. I reckon there's going to be food-related stuff yep. coming. Could do kiwi. Kiwi. Green and brown. Olive. Mm. Apple. Yep. All right, friend of the channel, and Yilika and Yilika Nickvist, I think it is Angie. Angie, we call her Angie because I can't pronounce shit for shit. But <laughs> she is, she's collaborated with Davina Cosmetics to create a custom twelve pan palette. Yes. So she's taken in some of her favorite shades. Uh, we've got like mauves greens, blues, orange, and then she took two of her favorite highlighter shades yeah. and she had them created in little pans because she loves to use them on her eyes. Yeah, so the first one is like, uh, looks like a white pan, it shifts like a pink, Yeah. and then the second one is a white pan, it shifts green. So um, yeah, you could buy them in big highlighters, but it's the first time you can buy them in the eyeshadow uh, sort of size. Um, so besides those two, the rest of them are existing shades and she just picked the ones that she loved the most mm. to create a little like capsule collection and you can buy it now. It's called the Moonwell Collection and uh, it will be 48 US dollars with her code. So pretty much the only discount code that will work on the bundle, which is, is hers. 20% yep. off it's is Angesca her code. 20. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and you could also buy the smaller pans of the highlighter as well. I think it was $8 with okay, a code. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, so, yeah, this is a fun little palette, and it really suits uh, who she is, and it's yeah. really, like, true to... Um, what, yeah, it's a really she authentic does. collaboration because yeah. she's talked about the brand multiple times on her channel. She's actually kind of created a little capsule that she thinks is a really good representation of the brand and what she likes. Um, and yeah, it's in this photo here, you're like, oh yeah, it's pretty. But when she did a video on it, and you can really see the nuances in the color and she swatched them. Some of these are really, really pretty. Yeah. So good on her. I think she's done a good job. Yeah. So if you want it, go get it, support her. She's yeah. A good egg. And you also, you buy it and you get the singles and then you get the palette as well. Yeah. And you can like arrange it however, however you want. However you want. Yeah. Yeah. All right, another new thing. We've seen Dominique Cosmetics um, have announced a new palette. Mm. This is the Celestial Storm palette. This is releasing on the 4th of September, so it's not quite out. Mm. But it is a 12-pan eyeshadow palette. It looks like there's half shimmers, half mattes. Yeah, I think and that's accurate. Interestingly, they like... It's like not yeah. the top row shimmer and the bottom row no, mattes. It's like but they like they, correspond. Yeah, and, they swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. I don't mind this. Um, I actually there's a lot of colors in here that I really like and yeah, that make beautiful me colors. really really happy. Um, but I just I can't swear the blue. It makes me look like a corpse face. Yeah, look, I think this is a pretty nice palette as well. I do agree that the... I, I love that there's almost, not with every colour, but there's like a corresponding matte and a shimmer that yeah. sort of complement. Yeah. I think that's really nice. I think that's really smart. I do agree that maybe the turquoise shade is probably a little bit overdone yeah. at the moment. And I think like if I... they put something else in here, like a... I don't know, like a navy or a blurple or mm, a... Something a little bit Even like different. a mauvey colour. Yeah. It probably would have flowed a bit better. Like I... I genuinely love that color like i see it and it makes me happy but i know that i never wear it and i i guess i've seen it a lot 
Yeah. Another thing that I think is interesting is they've got a shade called Fireball, mm. which looks a Urban lot Decay. like the Urban Decay Fireball. Fireball. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a beautiful colour, though. I it like is a beautiful it. colour. From Fenty Beauty, we have some new matchstick shades. So these are five new shimmery shades. We've got Cognac, which is a gilded chestnut. Beach Bum is a radiant peach. Pink Lemonade is a glimmering pink. Champagne Heist is a glittering champagne. And Bordeaux Brat is a radiant berry. So these are out now everywhere you can buy the Fenty goodies. Glass, Glass House. House! Yes. <laughs> Glass House. I love it. So we've got some new candles from Glass House. These are the Dark Arts Duo. Um, so we've got Magic Spell, which is pumpkin pie and I believe an existing scent in new packaging. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, so I think every year around Halloween, mm. they sort of bring out this pumpkin pie yeah, scent. Or they at least have in the last couple of years, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've brought pumpkin pie two years in yeah. a row because it smells so good. Yeah, I think they've done it. This is the third yeah. year, but they change the packaging each yes. year. Yeah. yeah. And then we also have the new fragrance, which is Spellbound. It's Enchanted Embers. Yeah. Which is very interesting. Look, I don't hate it. One I really, tiny, tiny I really bit. love the packaging. We were in the shops last night and I was like, got to see if they've got that they those new it. collections because I'm just gonna buy them. Mm. Um I think they I think they look beautiful. I love glass house candles with yeah. a very deep passion. I do too. I've got one burning in the kitchen yeah. at the moment. Uh, I also really love their limited edition packaging because yeah. you can actually oh. clean them out and use them to like store cotton Everything. wool. Like you know, hair ties, hair ties. I've got jewelry, pins, brushes. brushes. So yeah. I've got a brush one there. You can use them as like coffee jars, sugar jars in the yeah. kitchen, like all sorts They're of beautiful. things. They're really beautiful. All right, skincare brand Glyco mm -hmm. are re releasing a new product. So Ooh. we have a new serum. So this is a 24-hour hydrating and firming serum. Yeah. Um, and it contains ingredients like. Aquacell, trademarked. Uh, Good on you. Hyaluronic, yeah, <laughs> hyaluronic acid, snow mushroom extract. Interesting. Yeah, which is 400 times more powerful than hyaluronic acid. Nice. Even, Indian ginseng. Yep. And antioxidant botanicals, so their protective plant extracts. I think what got me was the Aquacell. Reduces fine lines in as little as two hours. What? Oh, it's a combination <gasps> of watermelon rind, lentil, and ep apple extracts. Beautiful. Get on my face and in my mouth. Yeah, so this... Make, yeah, uh, don't when, eat it. No. <laughs> when you're watching this, is already available. Excellent. Um, it is pretty pricey because it's a fancy brand that yeah. delivers pretty the good fancy results. fancy brand. Uh, Australian dollars, 230 yeah. Um, We actually do have a... Glyco discount code, don't we? We do. Check the description box. Yep, we have some be discount down codes. It's down there. But this is available now. Excellent. At glyco.com.au. Check Woo. it out. They do ship internationally, I believe. Yes, they do. Good on you, Darren. We love you, mate. Yes, Darren's the best. All right. We've got the holiday wazoos. Just do you want to see it? It's my drink. No, yeah. I don't. I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, it's coming out, the wazoo. All right, let's start with Bobby Brown. This is, we don't have a lot of information on this, but it's supposedly supposedly going to be called the Kaleidoscope. Uh, no, it's Kaleidoscope themed. Sorry, yep. my bad. All right, so we've got a palette that has... Uh, really beautiful, intricate pans. It almost looks like shattered glass. Yeah, but it does like a little bit. Crystal. Yeah, it's star. really pretty. Um, and we've got it in two images where it looks different in both images. So I'm suspecting there might be some duochrome shades yes. in there that are offering like a, a fun thing, a beautiful, fun thing. Can I say though that mm. it. Okay, the shade that. Is down the bottom to On the, the left. left. Yeah, it looks like it is possibly a gold to pink yeah. shade, similar Stylish to Mary. Stylishly Mary from Mac. Mm. Um, and it almost looks like you can buy it in a single pan. I was thinking that is that is that a, what? Yeah. It so under the palette on this photo where you can see the whole table, there looks like there's a similar like similar color in yeah. a single pan. I was wondering if they're single eyeshadows, which they do tend to do this. They release. They do. Um, palettes and they release single eyeshadows. Yeah. If that's the same shade or a very similar one, um, or if this is a cool like highlighter, I'm not too sure. Maybe. 
Oh, but oh, there is a highlighter to there the side, is. and it's got that sort of shattered, yeah. crystallish finish to it. Uh, then we have some glittery lipsticks. There are some lipstick packs, um, skincare, skincare pack. packs, and then two other eight pan palettes um, that look. They look like basic palettes. They're not do. as cool as... They uh, look necessary. Necessary palettes. Yeah. So there we go. When we know more information, we'll give it to you. But yeah, that's what we got for now. Um, we see a mini liquid lipstick duo from Kylie, which is riveting. Um, the Star Brush from... Um, it cosmetics. it cosmetics. Last year they had the heart brush. They did. I'm sure they've done a star before. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe someone can confirm that. But anyway, we star can, brush. Yeah, we can see some packs. These are coming out at Ulta. There's yeah. a Steeler pack. Peter Iron Thomas Lipset. Roth. Mm -hmm. um, like skincare pack. Um, there's it, a eyeshadow palette. 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 Yeah. Um, and these ones are Makeup Revolution. So... A bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff, but we don't know a whole lot of holidays stuff. Stuff at Ulta. Go get it when it's available. All right, next release is Huda has been showing a few things. Mm. The first thing that she showed was the Life Liner. This is a double-ended eyeliner. Mm. She did talk about um, not wanting to release an eyeliner because there are so many good eyeliners in the market. Um, but she had a lot of requests, so she thought, okay, if we're going to do it, we're going to make it very good. Yeah. Um, so this is a bit of a chunky one. Um, the design, like the packaging, is like in the shape of a diamond. Mm. Looks a little bit clunky, but I quite like the concept of it. Um, do I need it? Probably not. But uh, what I like is one end is a liquid eyeliner that's supposed to be 48-hour wear. That's a lot of wear. Oh, I'm never gonna wear it for that long. No, but at least it means you're gonna. It's gonna last it's gonna twelve last. hours. Easy. Yeah. Um, and what I particularly like about this, it's not only got a brush applicator, but it's not a self-filling tube. Like the ink in the tube, and they can dry out really easily. Yeah. This is actually like in the lid that you twist There's off. An is ink a well. Is an ink well, and I yeah. find that they last a lot longer. You get a lot more longevity out of them. Um, which I think is great. And on the other side, there's um, a pencil liner. Now, these are supposed to be black, black, black. So I'm assuming this is going to be possibly the first of maybe colored liners because she did name it uh, Vanta. No, she called it Very Vanta, which is extreme black. Now, if you're familiar with what Vanta black is, mm -hmm. it's that substance that is the darkest, the darkest black, like, uh, substance yeah. on the planet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when, yeah, at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So you, like they do a lot of tests with it and it just absorbs so much light that you can't actually see any new, like if you have paper covered in this black, it just looks like black. It looks like a hole. Yeah. A black hole. Like a black hole. Yeah. So she's named it after that because it's supposed to be very, very, very black. It would have been cool if she actually had that pigment in there. If probably it was ISO. ISO. And probably, I think it's very expensive as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, so I oh, think... Oh man, how fucking cool would that be if you use that? It would look... You could make three-dimensional, like, negative yeah. space looks on It'd your face. Cool. Shit. Yeah, it'd be cool. It'd be pretty cool. Oh. So, I don't know. I think this has some promise. I'm not a huge Huda Beauty fan, but this is like a really practical product. I feel product. like a product's too expensive for me. They <laughs> are too. That, but if this inkwell liner lasts a lot longer, because I find I can use liquid liners and they dry out within two months. Yeah. Whereas these inkwell ones can last you forever because you get a lot more um, longevity out of them. She's also released um, a makeup remover balm alongside it. Mm. So because it is so long wearing, she's saying that you need to use something heavy duty like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil to remove it, mm -hmm. which is great. I use a cleansing oil. I love it. So it's it makes sense that she's bringing this out. And this one's made in Japan. So they yeah. make a pretty good cleansing balm. So um, They do in Japan. They yeah, they do. They're doing. Yeah. There's also two styles of lashes that are coming out. The first one is um, sort of Huda's signature lash, which mm -hmm. I think is called the Hootie. They've also collaborated with Kalana Barfield to bring a new set of lashes. This is the Kalana number 21 lash. Mm. So this is has already launched by the time you're watching this. Excellent. Um, Jouet, we have their limited edition Metamorphosis collection. So uh, this consists of the Metamorphosis face and eye palette, 34 US dollars. 
There's the Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm in two shades. There's Monarch, which is a tinted cool soft pink, and Mariopsa. Mariopsa. It's a tinted cool black cherry. These are 18 US dollars each. And then there's the um, bundle. You can buy it as a bundle. Yep, 70 US dollars. Excellent. It's <laughs> launching on the 10th of September and it says for every palette purchased from the 10th of September to the 10th of October, 15% of the net proceeds will be donated to the non-profit Chrysalis Organization. Cool. I, I don't mind this little pack. Um, you know, if once again, if you don't use too much makeup or you like some travel palettes, you've got nice sort of warm tone nudes, cool tone nudes, a blush and a highlighter. Yeah. It's pretty standard. It's but travel friendly. You look at the swatches and you could create some nice, especially winter shades. Yeah. would be pretty. All right. We've seen uh, the next palette coming from Juvia's Place. It's the Warrior 3. Uh, the packaging looks quite bright. Mm. But doesn't often correspond to what colours are inside. No, so, so we know nothing. We know jack shit except a Warrior 3 is coming. Excellent. From Lime Crime, we have a new Venus palette. So this is called the Venus Immortalis palette. It's an eight pan, super cool tone palette. Um, four finishes. You've got mattes, foils, shimmers and sheer shimmers. The shades are Unseen, Echo, Moth, Marble, Unveil, Ash, Hail, and Cameo. And it's launching on the 9th of September for 38 US dollars. This is interesting. When I first saw it, I actually thought this might have been like a black and white sneak peek. Yeah. Um, but if you're into cool tones, this is very cool tone. It and is I think very this is a cool really tone. interesting direction um, because, you know, cool tone is actually can be actually a very flattering eyeshadow color yep. um, for a lot of people. And this is going there it's oh, going mate. there deep and this is like hardcore yeah. cool tones but what i like about it is that often brands that think of cool tone they think of blue and they think of gray and they think of like ashy things yeah These... this feels a bit old school blue, yeah old school cool toned but modernized yeah so it's got some silvery shades but they're quite purple toned mm. which i find these are a lot more wearable than just straight out silvers or bluey silvers so I quite I quite like this. Mm -hmm. If this came into my life, I would happily I'd use play it. With it yeah. um, but I'm not as confident with cool tones um, as I am with sort of neutral or warmer tones. So yeah. probably wouldn't buy it. But there are some beautiful shades in there. Here. Are. Like Unveil. That I know. Oh, it's a beautiful I color. Know. I also love Echo because it's that beautiful, cool toned, sort of taupey color. It's yeah. Fun, no, some of them are really pretty. I'm a bit of a fan of Moth. Yeah. But um, I'm also some of the shades, I'm a little bit concerned about their pigmentation based they look on how they're on swatched. Swatch, yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I I do like it though. I think it's I think it's cool. It's a nice little modern cool tone palette. It also looks like they've got details on it that are glow in the dark. I know. So Fancy. It's, yeah, it's pretty Fancy. fun. It's pretty fun. Um, Lush. We have an advent calendar. So this is going to be 195 pounds. It's limited edition and they're only making 500 available. They'll be released on Thursday the 29th of August, so I'm very sorry if you missed out. Well, it um, should be – this would be in the UK, so it'd be yeah, like Yeah, if you're now. watching now when this goes live and you want one of these, yeah. I'd recommend getting over there and checking it out. So it's a 24-door calendar, which is great, but you don't get anything to open on Christmas Day, which is bad, uh, other than your other gifts. That's so true. Let's not complain. Yeah. Um, but if you're interested, go and check it out. We're not going to tell you what's in it because we don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah, but there's a mix of skincare and a little bit of makeup as yeah. well. All right. Oh, yeah. Mac has a, a new collection with yes. Pony. Yeah, this is actually interesting. So this yeah. is launching later in September. So we're getting some dates like September 21st, mm. but it's not 100% confirmed. And yeah. Mac roll things out in different countries yeah. at different times. But this is cool. So Pony is a YouTuber and makeup artist, very popular in South Korea. Mm. Um, and she's interested in things like mystical things, crystals and tarot cards and whatnot. So she's made a collection inspired by that, mm. which I think is pretty damn cool. And the packaging is really rad. I like There's the packaging. There's beautiful – like it's sort of similar to – um. Uh, the glass house candles mm. it's got like stars and moons and cool stuff in it on it and um 
I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, I like the look of the packaging. I'm not so sure I'm sold on the products. No, I agree with you. Let's run through them real quick. So we've got an eyeshadow palette with eight shades. going to be $35. US There's a lip plumping lip gloss for $20. Two highlighters. They're $37 each. We've got a uh, Prep and Prime Fix Plus that's formulated with the Pearl Shimmer. 30 bucks. Yeah, I want to say because we were talking about this before, hopefully this is better than the gold light and the pink light because those were too sparkly. Maybe a pearl Too shimmer much. might be a little bit more subtle. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Maybe they've refined it. It does look very pretty in the bottle. But well, um, so did the other ones. Yeah, it did and I wouldn't touch it with a 40 foot pole unless I could try it in store. That's true. Um, there's also two makeup brushes and some lashes and there's a new product that yep. they've worked on. So this is the Matte Lip Mousse. It's twenty US dollars. Uh, weightless formula that glides on evenly for misty soft matte color. It'll be available in nine shades. So the shades, there's like a lilac, there's pinks, there's an orange coral, there's some nudes, there's some berries. Yeah. Um, I'm really interested in this. I think this is really uh quite on trend for the Korean market. They love that sort yeah. of um soft blurred matte lip look yeah um but i'm always down for a new matte formula mac lip formula yeah. so um it's interesting i like the packaging i think it's a a well put together collection but like you the, besides maybe the new lip product yeah um i'm not i'm not too i'm not sold. chomping at the bit yeah I, like i don't think i'm going to be stalking um the Mac website uh, yeah, to order it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Oh my God, this might be something that I need given to me. Possibly. By me. Yes. <laughs> this A is... gift to me from me. Thank you, me. <laughs> Love you, me. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely day. Yeah. This is the sort of thing that you get really drunk and order it online and you leave yourself like a little gift card oh, yeah. in there with I a note. I love seeing photos yeah. of that on the internet. I love that. It's good. <laughs> You're a great person and I'm so proud of how you behaved tonight. Yes. Here's the gift. <laughs> Here's the gift. Yeah, I love it. Um, so this is the Nars Audacious Eau de Parfum. Now, this is looking to launch in the US on August 31st, um, but essentially uh, it's a really pretty looking fragrance. Yeah. Um, the notes are, so top notes are Plumeria and Smoky Incense, middle notes are Tier Flower, Ylang Lang and Sandalwood, and the base notes are White Cedar and White Musk. Unfortunately, I don't think the notes are going to match what I need it to be. No. But I the, love the bottle. The bottle. The bottle beautiful. is really, really artistic and beautiful. And I love that the fluid is black. Yeah. I think it's really cool. It's beautiful. I think, yeah. I think I, they've done a good job. And this probably does suit the NARS I, like aesthetic and the yep. scent sounds like... It sounds like what I... It sounds like NARS. Yeah. yeah. It's not what I wear. No. Um, this would probably give me a migraine um but i think it's appropriate i would smell it in store I for would sure too. all right next thing is something new from natasha denona mm. move over jacqueline hill oh no move over <laughs> your, your hairy lipsticks see you later Uh oh. Um, natasha denona have released <laughs> nude, nude lipsticks a yeah. range of nude lipsticks so this yeah. is called the i need a nude Yep. <laughs> collection. Um, so it's a brand new lipstick formula in 18 nude shades. So mm. not quite 20 like no. Jaclyn Hill, but very close. Um, it's already available. It's supposed to be super comfortable wear, ultra soft, soft feel, similar to Jaclyn Hill. Mm. Um, and the shades, they break them down with neutral beige. So there's five shades there, which are all stunning. Yep. Um, then there's pink. So there's mm. three pink shades, neutral pink, which is stunning. And there's also beige. <gasps> That's where my heart lies. I know. You're stunning. I want it. Um, Look at Charlotte. I don't even know what that is. But uh, yeah, it's like I a sandy. It. I love those sandy nudes. Good God. I also love some of these neutral pinks like Noah. Oh, mm. beautiful. So, Beatrice and Noah. Yeah. yeah. And even Yana. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Take I even my money. Like, like Natasha, the top. Yeah, natural. I like that one yeah, too. Yeah, I like them all. They're really pretty. If you like nudes and you want a specific undertone, this is a nice one. I do agree with a lot of people that saying the packaging looks like Maybelline. Um but hundred percent fair. Yeah, but I do yep. I do think that sometimes, not always, 
because this is Natasha Denona are expensive. I'm hoping that they cut down on packaging costs to deliver a fairly well-priced lipstick. With an outstanding formula. I'm hoping. Hoping. That's my hope. Yeah. Probably not going to happen, but that's what I hope. Yeah. But I do like the shade range. I think it's really smart. I like it. It's pretty. I do want to say, though, mm. and this is probably getting out of nude, so I understand why they didn't do it. You know how um, in beige it goes from light to deep? Mm. Um, in the pinks and the neutral beiges, there's no dark shades. No. Um, whereas I think if you've got deeper skin, you don't want to just be stuck with beige. Maybe you do want mm. a rosy, but then it might be leaning too much into roses. The, yeah, yeah. So maybe I think they could have chucked in a couple more undertones yeah. for deeper skin. But... Yeah. I would have thought that they could still chuck in some deeper nudes. Yes. Like, I feel like there's a lot of deep nude, nude shades. Like it, it yeah. can be done. Um, all right. Pacifica, we've got a new hemp infused collection so there's the cosmic reflect eyeshadow palette this is $19 at Ulta the shades are infused with hemp oil for a soft talc free blend and it includes a double-sided synthetic brush it's cruelty free and vegan then there is the highest lash chronic volume hemp infused mascara in ultra black 14 US dollars and it has real hemp fibers to give long lifted lashes and then there is the highest gloss hemp infused lip gloss eight dollars it contains hemp derived cannabis sativa oil and it comes in three shades cupcake which is a sheer pink glow orange oh, vanilla orange which is a light caramel and strawberry rose which is a rosy toned shade all right, we've got a new palette. I oh need, my a, God, I need to wet my whistle sip. for this. Uh-oh. Yeah, a new Mothership palette coming from mm. Pat McGrath. So this is actually launching on the 6th of September. So if you love her formula, <clears throat> I know there are a lot of people that love, love, love it. Um, you've got some time. Mm. Uh, but this is the Mothership 6. It's the Midnight Sun palette. I hate this because I actually need it. <laughs> you don't need it. Don't be silly. No, I think there are some nice colours in here. Yeah. Um, I do think it looks a little bit similar to the bronze one. I think it looks... Look, I feel like all of her palettes start to look same, same. But I see some colours in here that just tickle my fancy. And yeah. I think what I love about this is that I would use every single shade. It's probably the first palette of hers where I've looked at it and gone... I like it, 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 I like it. And there's not one shade where I've gone, I wouldn't use that. See, I thought that with her last yeah. Bond Seduction palette yeah. and I bought that. And it was yeah. the most expensive palette I've yeah. ever bought and I barely use it. Mm. So um, I do like the colours in here. Probably not enough to want to buy it. To buy yeah. it. I, I like it and I want to buy it, but I don't want to pay that price because... So I'm it. sorry, I just don't think her formula is worth that price. I think her lipsticks are nice. Yeah, and I like her lipsticks. Worth the money. Mm. And I, I can justify yeah. spending a bit of money on lipstick though, because I think they can really, can really um, make a look. Whereas yeah. I feel like with eyeshadows, I feel like there's almost like a bell curve there with is. eyeshadows. I hundred percent agree. Like drugstore, cheap, cheap, cheap. And you're like it's pretty crap, and then yeah. it gets a bit better with mid range and like yeah. makeup artist brand and yeah. slightly more expensive. And then and when it goes to high end luxury, it just <laughs> yeah. goes down again. Like oh, you're paying two hundred dollars for a palette, not worth it. Yeah, you're paying most of it on packaging. Yeah. So I do think the colors are pretty, and I do think it's a nice addition. And you know, if I had this, I would. Use attempt it. to use it yeah but then i have other ones i don't use them so yeah, probably not fair. um but i do think this is on that bell curve going down where it's probably not in my yeah. opinion not worth the money but if you love the formula this is a nice addition to the range i do love that sort of olivey tone i think it's really beautiful yeah um i would swatch this in store yeah That's all I'm saying. i look i probably wouldn't swatch it in store because i probably love it and have to buy it um, but I will be waiting to see if Sephora accidentally has a 50% off sale. <laughs> yeah, I'll, then buy I will then. Buy it. I'll buy it then. I'll buy it then. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Quick something something from Sol de Janeiro. They've launched a candle. Yes. It's in their signature scent. It's 48 US dollars and it's, it contains eight ounce of scented wax. Yeah. So if you like that scent and you want your house to smell like it, there you go. There you go. Uh, we also have a quick sneak peek of a Stila Fall 2019 eyeshadow palette. Uh, we can see six shades there. 
Yeah. Pop of blue is still going. How long has it been? I oh, know. It's been a while. I do like the mauvey colours in, in yeah, the middle. They're I do like that it looks like there's some duochrome shades. And sparkly but... and pretty and yeah. Yes. All right. Tarte Cosmetics have launched their fall collection, which is called Fall Feels. So it contains Fall Feels Iron Cheek Palette. So this is a seven pan eyeshadow palette with a blush in the middle. Mm. It's twenty five US dollars. But there's a lip gloss trio. Did we also mention that there's a Lights, Camera, Lashes 4-in-1 mascara in a yellow and is it purple? or It's a no. yellow tartan. Yeah, it's got purple text on it. Yeah. Uh, a few people mentioned that they thought this was a clueless collection. I love it how oh, anything, okay. with, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. with yellow, yellow tartan, tartan is, is yeah. automatically yeah, yeah, yeah. clueless. That's I think that's fair. quite funny. Um, and there's also a chrome paint shadow pot in the shade Caramel Apple. So, so yeah. yeah. And it's all available now. Um, from Tom Ford, we have the Gloss Lux. So these are available now at Tom Ford website and they come in 20 shades of retailing for 55 US dollars. They're a weightless liquid balm with a high shine. Um, they're saying it's light as air in sheer to medium coverage infused with three oils, avocado, olive and jojoba and hollow powders for airy comfort. It's a liquid balm that hydrates lips. All right, from Urban Decay, we have a new powder coming soon. So it looks like it's coming on September 1st at Ulta Beauty. Um, it's the Ultimate Brush Off Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Did I say Urban Decay? Yeah. Oh, good. Um, I feel like we've been here a while. Yeah. So it's a finely milled vegan powder that blends seamlessly to extend the wear of your foundation without adding any weight or texture, mm. which is great. Um, so it sets makeup while absorbing oil and shine for a totally blurred out effect, um, blending seamlessly without causing flashback. Awesome. Mm. So, um, this is available in five shades as fair, medium, dark, deep, and universal, and it'll be 36 US dollars each. Excellent. Interesting packaging. Yes. I want to know, is that like a brush inside? I think it's meant to be. It's really yep. weird. Anyway. There, there we, go. we go. We'll find out more. We will. And last thing, Winky Lux. We have the new In The Stars lip oil. So it's a supercharged uh, lip oil with potent peptides. Uh, it's supposed to keep your lips hydrated and nourished with avocado, sunflower, and jojoba oils. And it features tiny stars for that little something extra. So it looks like... Little gold, little golden stars in there. I wonder if it actually does add something extra. If it's just cute, no idea. It's pretty cute. It is. She's all right. Anyway, it's available now at Winky Lux, and it's eighteen US dollars. And something we forgot. So it's uh -oh. that wasn't the last thing. Uh -oh. Bare Minerals have launched the Paula's skincare collection. So it's full of prebiotics and superfruits to help refine the look of pores. There's a Paulus Clay Cleanser, $22 US dollars. Paulus Oil Free Face Moisturizer, US $35. Paulus Exfoliating Toner, $24 US dollars. Now available at bareminerals.com. Excellent. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a Beauty News VIP, and this week's VIP is Beverly. Thank you, Beverly, thank for you, supporting Beverly. Beauty News, and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. Especially Beverly. Yes. Absolutely. You're the real MVP this week, Beverly. You are. And mm. emoji. So yes. we don't have foundation bottles, unfortunately. No. But candles. Go on. Because there's been a few candles this episode. It has. Let's do it. Yes. Excellent. All right. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.